I got some feedback on my first video showing how you could use G-Class folders and Doctopus to help organize your Google Drive, asking me about sharing additional documents with the class. This video is designed to take us through that. If you watched the first video, you've already set up G-Class folders and shared one document. If you haven't seen that video yet, you might want to check out the link here. In this video, we'll review the spreadsheets that are generated by Doctopus and show how we can use G-Class folders and Doctopus to share some additional documents. Once again, you may want to check out the resources linked here. Our goals for today are to use G-Class folders and Doctopus to share additional documents with your class and understand how the Doctopus spreadsheets work a little bit better. What you'll need to begin is your class roster set up in G-Class folders and a new document template that you'll want to share with the class. Thanks to the script developers. Now let's get started. To begin, let's review what we did last time. We used G-Class folders to set up a class for language and additional subfolders for each student in the class. Those are found in the assignment folders. We also created a shared folder that every student in the class has editing access to and one where they have view-only access. In addition, we created a teacher folder that we are the only people who have access to. I've got my G-Class folder spreadsheet ready to go and I've also got my new template document that I'd like to share with all the students in my class. Let's drop this into the teacher folder to begin. Use the file menu, choose move to folder, and then drop it into the appropriate folder. Language teacher. Now I can close this template document. I return to G-Class folders, click on the menu, and choose get G-Class Hub URL. I'll need to do this each time I want to create a new Doctopus script and share a document with my class. I click on the custom link and the script opens up. Remember to choose the class you want to work with and then launch Doctopus. I'm going to rename the spreadsheet for this assignment. and click Create New Doctopus. Once it's done, I can click on the link to open up the spreadsheet. Again, we have to go through this step each time. Part of the reason is because as Doctopus runs, it creates a link to each new file that you generate for the students in your class. We'll click on the Doctopus menu and choose Launch Installation. We'll click OK to give it authorization. Again, this gives Doctopus permission to run the scripts needed to copy the document and share it with the students in your class. Click Accept and return to the Doctopus menu. Launch the installation again. We're going to keep this as simple as possible, individual, all the same document sharing, where the whole class doesn't have access to each other's profiles and students are allowed to edit the documents. We'll click Save Settings and now we'll choose our document template. Remembering it's in the Language Teacher folder on my computer. And my template file is the student profile document. I click Save Settings. And I'm going to make a new folder. This will show up in the Language Teacher folder. And I'll choose how I want 
the document to be named. And because these are student profiles, I'll put in first name, last name, and student profile as the title. I'll click on notify the editors. And I want to make sure that I click the create the folder name button and save the settings. Now it's time to copy and share the documents. I click run copy and share. And Doctopus does its thing in the background, creating the documents and providing me the links to them. and it tells me that everything was successfully completed. I can click OK. So, what's unique about the Doctopus spreadsheet is that it gives you a link to each student's document. And there's a couple of other ways to find these documents as well. So if we take a look at Jim's document, I can click on the link from here and open up his student profile. Close it and go back to my spreadsheet Let's look at other ways that we can access this particular file other than the spreadsheet. I'll go back to my language folder and click on the teacher folder. Here I can see my student profiles. Each individual student document is shared here. So I can click on Jim's and open it up again this way. In addition, I can click on the assignment folders navigate to Jim's folder and take a look at his student profile. G Class folders and Doctopus are unique in this way because they allow you multiple ways to access a document and the document can appear to sit in two folders at the same time. So if I'm looking at the opinion organizers I can see all of my students assignments there or if I want to look at all of one student's assignments, I can jump through their assignment folders and see just their assignments. Again, I can work through the teacher folder and the spreadsheet that was generated by Doctopus to open up each student's document. or I can click on the folder that was created for that assignment and look at all of the students assignments. That's part of the power of G Class folders and Doctopus. I hope this is helpful as you continue to share resources with your students.